notifications coming through Tusk. One of the... I mean, Weaver is very self-sufficient on the bottom side of the map. You're not having to be babysat quite as much. Jow, he's scoping out if there's any stacks built up. Phoenix is going to end up going down up top, actually. First blood, great body blocks from Playheart, even though he missed the arrow. Yeah, probably just another creep. The range creep gets to night, so it's going to delay it that tiny bit further. They don't Glory. care, they're just going to go. Missed again, though. Whoop Stomp, combine. We'll end up whiffing. And now Ori with the damage might actually be able to turn this back around, and especially with the rotations that Vici Gaming are pulling out here at the top side. Rappi will pay the price. Ori gets the fame for that one. As genuine as well, might be in trouble resin a pulse, just clips him. It's a double for the Void Spirit. The Opage has come over. He's got four points up in the orb. Unfortunately, he's going to end up missing that one, so he's going to be pretty careful now because the Boundless sets up for the Remnant. Yopaj, has he got the health to be able to keep himself alive until the orb's back up? It looks like he does. Right at the tower, or he gets punished. A nice arrow with the first potential of the orb. Feature giving here is forcing the Icarus dive away. He's done his job. He's taken a lot of pressure off his top side. Yopaj, getting active across the map early for the puck. That's exactly what you want to see. But yeah, I mean, have a look at him. He's seven, eight hundred ahead of his closest competitor. And well, that's not looking like stopping. Again, another miss spells coming through from these supports. This is going to be a big deal against a quality lineup like Vici. You cannot give them an inch. Vici Gaming, you never want to make a commitment. They're actually Poyoyo. committing on Poyoyo. He's in trouble here. Backup's coming. The why with this fire burn down. That's Sunray going to help Poyo up a little bit as well. But the bow on the strike gets a clip on the Murano. Unfortunately, the silence from the Earthshaker are going to prevent the enchant totem, so play hard. He's able to leak now. himself away. This big item already picked up from Yopaj. He's able to utilize his early advantage that he has. Nice dodge with the face shift, but he's going to be careful. He's going pretty deep at the moment, but the arrow is on point. Finds the Void Spirit. He's still pretty tanky. The physical protection of the Resident Pulse, and they're actually unable to take that fight here. Tusk tries to get away. But the snowboard will not be successful. At least it's Puck. Radiant the the route from old 11. Like, it's going to get difficult. Oh. Speaking about old 11, yeah. he's going to have to ult here now, but it will not matter. Coil should be the damage required if he even tried that with the break, so. Okay, next thing. I actually use this to stairs the regen room. Nicely done. We're actually going Coil. all in here onto the other lord. Okay, kind of PYW. Bit of a whiff here from the Earthshaker. They might look to punish the arrow. That's the one that's on point. They're still going to be careful around the choke point with the Rook Command getting dropped along with Supernova. Oh, big nice hook stop from Rappi now for the Stampede. They're going to try and look to bring down the egg. Will they be successful? No, they're perfect. Yours, Ori, allows the Supernova to go off. They're still hunting, but they're just not finding anything. That's the issue. They're doing exactly what they need to, though. Oh, misses with a swarm. You know that there's no Shaker Echo Slam. You know that there's no Supernova. And they should at least get old 11, but is that going to be enough for their time? Make sure they can continue the control the area of the map. Boundless sets up easy jump from Ori. Coil drop, the rest of Radiant, the heroes in the area coming over. You can't really man fight up against the double damage rune that the Monkey King was just able to pick up. But Ori's still gonna be relatively careful with his positioning right now. Got some backup on the high ground. It's so good this game as well though. Like even if oh, Ori? Actually gets a little bit of vision, so the double silence and Centaur's gonna get clipped by the Fissure. Radiant, they're trying to sweep on down bot for the bow on the strike. Poor yo has got the damage required here. Centaur will fall. Januel's got some vision of the small camp, but it will not matter. It's Vici Gaming hunting. I'm buying hard. I'm sick of dying. Fissure. in onto the Shaker. He had a lot of burst potential early. Rap is able to finish the kill with the double edge, but Rap is gonna be careful because his Sunray melting him through with the percent damage. Like, it's annoying to, of course, be playing into the Firestorm, into the Pit, even just the Atrophy Aura, but that's the reality of the situation. Tusk might pull himself out again, and it's just short of the Blink Dagger, so it's going to be delayed. Just to... Five, you actually got... Down, yeah, you've got the Blink Dagger, though. All available again. I've got good vision in the area. Hold 11, eats the arrow, incredibly tanky. That's already the hero they want to put a lot of the attention to, but the Supernova is not protected by the rest of the team, so play hard to build. They'll be able to bring that down as Vici Gaming now have to offer a treat. Hold 11, Uber away, Poyo is going to be fine, but the rest of the team, unfortunately, or is not protected with a core drop from Yopage. That's a great target to be able to lock in, but do they have the extra damage? It doesn't look like they do. 
Ori. Astro set, another one gonna be up in a couple seconds here. E Bleed stops the damage from the build. Old Eleven's coming back over as well with a nice Astro set. Snowball still flying on fourth. They cut the tree. No! Monkey King! It's still got the BKB along with the Wukong Command, but they chuck him up here. It go PYW! It doesn't matter. Monkey will fall for the root to build. Pops the BKB. Age is gonna get dealt with. The BKB completely wastes it, but Old Eleven standing his ground. Deals with the Mirana. What an echo slam from the Earthshaker. Push out mid a little bit. But, and that I'm fine with. You're at least putting some map pressure on, but he can't oh just be standing inside his own triangle. <laughs> Five heroes from Ricci to show out of nowhere. Or Yopage. He can mid in. A on this group. Yopage gets a little bit of distance here. Can they follow up? Blink is available from PYW. Are they going to guess correctly? Doesn't even chuck anything out. <laughs> That's so scary when you, I mean, you see the Underlord Rift coming through, but all of a sudden, there's just five heroes in your face. And Moran has got two heroes in her face as well. Yours, easy setup, boundless fissure. They have left over the 11 solo. He's got a decent amount of armor, but you don't want to lose the gem. Centaur, gonna even buy back to force this one out. Old 11, is he tanky enough? That's the question. Dive, sweeping on over. They're getting pretty close here. Old 11 somehow still alive. He got the echo. Tries to pop anything he can to keep his life, but they won't be able to once again. BYW! The Echo Slam finds two. They're coming down. They do not have Centaur. Have they got the chain locked down? That's the question. Arrow's still gonna fly. The fish is not enough. And now with a burst potential. Bye bye Ori. And bye bye Phoenix as well. Two will fall from Ricci Gaming. Poyoyo's gonna be pretty careful here. He's got a BKB. He's actually gonna try and turn and drop the Wukong's command. Old 11. Along with the Earthshaker. Still in the vicinity. Yeah, but at going. least we'll give the Monkey King the some Scotty. time to get the Tree Dance away. Yeah, Debil, Scotty slow now, old 11. At least with the ultimate, he should be able to make it away. They've got the Spirit Vessel though. Mm -hmm. Some have been waiting for a yeah, while. He's going in very yeah, deep here. Yeah. Gotta be careful, Step P, but he's still gonna get clipped from the Bound the Strike. Arrow holds back the chain lockdown that old 11 was looking to provide with the root. They actually find the initial connection Thanks. now with the Supernova getting dropped as well, but the Marana unable to deal with that thanks to Ori's jumping forward. Remnant, Sans, still gets the leap away, but Ori claims to kill thanks to the last ultimate charge available. Oh, Yopaj. Yopaj. Oh. oh, they found, they got the Sans. No, Yopaj. Has he got any way to get away? Sans gonna last for too long. Fissure. Uh, considering is the fact that Old Eleven, he just TP'd up towards this top side. He's, He's got help. PYW, they're all grouped up. No, not again. PYW, to another massive echo slam to be Gets the BKB, he's gonna try TP out. He's fast enough, but uh, you cannot group up. Time and time again. Doesn't go down to the lower ground, but his ult is back up. He's getting a little bit gun shy about diving under a tower. Oh, arrows on the mark, actually, Sunray. Is it gonna be enough to keep the monkey alive? It definitely is. Put your build back up to full. As dropped down from the yours into the hands of the boundless. And down she goes. Weaver's trying to back up here. They know that Ori's not in the vicinity. Rappi finds a jump. So they can bring down the Phoenix. That's an important target, but Rappi's got a buyback. Shame. Now with the Aftershock's on as well. Oh my lord, PYW's tearing them apart. It doesn't matter if it's the Echo. All it has to be is the stuns that the Earthshaker can provide. Monkey's actually stuck on the high ground at the moment, but another Fissure, PYW, finds two. And these buybacks, they're not there at the moment. Debil has to pop the BKB. Yeah, you got a mount of defense here as old 11 and Puyoyo just going to work. The AC bonus health, so bonus armor, bonus attack speed. Yopaj outside the base, and on this some protection for the root from Debil. He's trying to man fight old 11, which honestly, he's so goddamn tanky. Finally, the Sunray is enough to keep him alive, but it's not. Old 11 will fall. It's a great fission with the chain lockdown, but there's no extra. Vichy Gaming, and now we the Monkey King. He's committed pretty deep here, Puyoyo. One put it back off. Oh, Fissure, perfect timing. Simultaneous jump coming through from the Void Spirit. Rafi trying to counter up with his own rebuttal, but the bound the strike locks him in. It's all on to build right now. The damage from the Weaver, but he's got nothing. The one lockdown committed with the Echo Slam. This time they'll drop it. And they have to call quits. Neon tapping out of this game one as the G's have dropped and Vici Gaming. A strong game one performance. A very pro game one performance here. Being able to dodge out a lot of those early ganks. Just need some vision.
Try on try and action at the moment. Why? Oh, nice kick. Nice kick away from PYW, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Fairy fire, one more right click. Play hard with the start of the boots. Of extra gold, that little bit of extra experience. Gonna make pretty similar timings towards the bottle, so. The team DY's dead top, I believe. Rappy, one more right click. Yes, indeed he is. Very nicely done. He just got that snowball before the dive, so he could keep chasing. In one mid, though, Yopajinori battling it out under the tower. Yopaj, unfortunately, out of mana. It's neck and neck. You've got the bottle coming out now for both. We'll arrive on Yopaj just perhaps a little bit sooner. Thing that we've seen just yet on the the sequel was all. Oh, it's going in to simulate being used to run back. Be able but to all they needed the was that bottle. tag team. It's worth committing it. Why not? You know, cure the kill, get the lane pushed in, make him lose experience, and it forces DY to just come to the lane to make sure it's not all for nothing. Man, bot lane is a mess right now. Heroes running the opposite direction than the safety of their tower. As the bill lines up for the crit, finds a kill on PYW. This is five early kills for Neon. But as well, straight on top of old 11. He doesn't have the ghost trap just yet. So now with the root, pops the one. But this is something then they can continue bringing that momentum into the mid game. As they just want to keep rolling down bot, man. Old 11 is struggling. They block picked a lot of his comfort heroes. And you're seeing him get punished here. They might even die at PYW. Because the roll is still on cooldown for another couple extra seconds. This lane is a disaster for Vici. Delve as well. That should be enough regen this time. He's still sticking around. Looks like he's trying to bait. Or he doesn't have the level 6, but the roll on the mark from PYW anticipates the Crystal Maiden's movements. Mittal's taking a, beast, a, a decent amount of damage here. The catapult beating it down. Play hard. Underneath the ward as well. So PYW. Ooh, nice nice. Kick. Ooh, the kick actually. That's PYW That's kicking down Poyo. Yeah, he's like, no, I need the help with the Monkey King. Cause with Radiant coming over, Play Hard baits him near the T1 tower. So the trap has been sprung with the coil dropped on two. Monkey King is like, come on, man, you, you kick my tree down. You're gonna get me killed now as well for showing up potentially Poyo. Earn. Taking him down, play hard, trying to continue chasing, or he might get a kill on Genuel. Play hard, he's going under a teacher tower. Oh, Snowboy, has he got anything else? He does, that's a big kill. They're not gonna really be able to do anything. I mean, they pushed them away. This tower, oh, down bot, who've they found? Three. It's gonna be Ori's Void Spirit, Coil dropped, it's just shy though. Nice use of the Dissimulate. But he doesn't have another Astral Step Charge. Get some distance, thanks to the Remnant, but Yopaj, hot pursuit here, the puck. It had a number. Silence prevents the fall from the Earth Spirit. His abilities were on cooldown nonetheless. It's mainly Ori, actually, the one with the catch. I don't think he has the burst. They actually dropped the Sentry with DY flying on forward. The saving hand here. He's going to snowball even back into them. The Sentry dropped. An odd play. Gets the two man coil off. Where's the follow up? It's just genuine. Well. They'll drop the supernova, so with the Phoenix Egg getting committed, Puck's like, okay, it's time for me to retreat away. So Neon are kind of feeding away a couple of their heroes here a bit. He's getting gone on. Dodges out the, uh, the roll forward. So difficult to commit forward when you miss the initial roll. Rappy, magnetize is still enough. The trader one for one. Yeah, definitely has that capability to go for a lot of the aura items that are required for Neon. As Poyoyo -Yo might be in trouble, play hard, just gets the shot before the tree dance and some raid DY. Can he allow the Monkey King to get the Wukong's command off fast enough? Supernova's gonna force back Neon, the kick away as well to safety. But Poyoyo is still falling a credit below. At least the Supernova's gonna allow another round of the Sun Ray, so he'll make it back to base, but the Earth Spirit will not be successful as the build crits him down. That is Radiance now completed, and they want more as well. It's a snowball in, DY shards, blocks off one retreat down to the low ground, but even Ori wants some engagement occurring in the area. Genuel, Frostbite, Vici Gaming, moving as a unit at the moment, especially with the old 11. They're gonna be careful if they can J lock him down before the ghost shard is able to get it off. A lot of heals as well, but Radiant, they're set up. They're well and truly happy to continue taking the fight with the Sun Ray. Kills up the Tuscar, but Debil moving on forward for more of the reincarnation. Poyo able to show back up, and now with the Wukong's man around the choke point with this reincarnation, where's the control? Debil dragged back. There's nothing extra. 
as the Radiance just got delivered. Oh. I mean, cannot continue to follow up. It's actually Ori that's jumping in. Gopart's just got a round of the silence. Just gonna back on. Oh, Jow. UIW? Fucking off here. Poyoyo wants to jump in forward as well. Boundless gets the kill. Get a little bit of distance away from the Earth Spirit. Break the Wukong's command if possible. But, I mean, I feel like you need to go Smoke pops. Drop the Wukongs. The rest of Radiant sweeping over. Dai trying to get there fast enough. They've got the outpost control as well with the Sunray. Once again, man, it's doing so much work. They can't commit heavily on top of the Wukongs. And up with the roll in. Radiant get punished for going for that play without extra numbers. They thought they had the damage. But DY's Phoenix. A pretty big timing on this Radiance before Poyoyo had an item. But now he's got BKB. They're just giving away too many kills. Can't skim. The creep's gonna eat the random, but they're still able to roll in, drop the Wukongs. They can keep him inside the area, which they will be able to do so successfully. Yes, they do it to build, but Jenny, well, dropping the freezing field. So Vichy Gaming have to think about staying around for a little bit too long here as Poyoyo runs out finally. So we've got a BKB. They're kiting the rest of Radiant. Rapid moving forward finally drops the ultimate here as Ori's gonna be able to bring down the Crystal Maiden. A bit of a waste on the supernova as Yopatch actually thinking about going back in here. The Void Spirit falling low. He might end up taking over to the Poison Over, but once again, at least they got the fresh in the Sunray, but Dear Bill, he commits on forward. Cancels off the Sunray, play hard, cancels the blink. Now with the Phoenix, he's ended up falling here. Been such a thorn in their side, the constant heals. That needs to be at the front of their mind every single team. Oh, oh. How do you go down? Too late here for Vichy Gaming. So with the Aegis getting claimed, Yo Paj has even got the commit on forward as well. Finding the Earth Spirit. They don't have a way to be able to get rid of the Sun Ray at the moment. So Ori's actually going to look to jump in forward. They'll trade a one for one. Even old 11 wants to see what he can get. But he's literally just time and time again, game after game, making plays. They're going to be careful because Dai have their own ward up top. So seeing Genuel and Rappi away from the team, but they're actually Genuel. wrapping through with the backline stab. Blink in to build. That's a perfect target to bring down. Phoenix goes down, Phoenix. chasing old 11. He's used all of his abilities. They're diving deep. They're going to be careful because Phoenix has buyback and they can definitely turn it. You do not want to commit underneath the teacher tower. They actually get the yours set up now for the roll with the round the strike. There we go, the Phoenix buyback. They're able to deal with the ages, but they can they kill them a second life. Poyoyo dropping the Wukong's roll. That's on the point. And now with the scythe as well, they commit everything. 90 seconds. That's just such an incredible item on the Monkey King. Reason why we see it picked up so often. Old 11 is away from the team, and once again, they find DY, but a quick dive. Now it's going to be difficult to get old 11 with the opportunity for the sun ray to heal him up. And there we go. Protected with Kamu initiation. Boundless on three from Poyoyo. Punch up in the air. Finally commits the BKB. But now with the supernova along with the Wukong's man. That's not a spot where Debil wants to respawn. But he's got the BKB, so has to use it incredibly defensively. But Neon, knowing that these ultimates on cooldown, they want to look to punish. Necrofoss still got Lotus, still got Greaves. It's hard to commit for old 11. Still with the Sunray available in the toolkit, even though they don't have the Supernova, so PYW kicks him actually back towards Radiant. But it's a massive silence with the Bell and the Strike! Look at the combination of all the AoE abilities, Vichy Gaming! The healers are coming through, they don't care about all the magic damage! Nice face shift, but I don't think it's gonna matter here for the pop. Blink back up in the river, he'll make it away! But Vichy Gaming, they turn their attention. It feels like Playhard's been going for the Spirit Vessel for the past 10 minutes. Oh no, DeVille's actually got caught out here. He's so far away from the rest of the team. He's got BKB and TP. He's gonna have to use it on the second life, but can they chain lock him down long enough? He's gonna try BKB, TP oh. out the damage, Bill. Oh my. Just clips the end of it with the scan. I don't know if this is the place to be walking, scared. Bill. That's not a good spot to be from the, away from the team. They've even got to drop the supernova on his head along with the Wukongs. He needs help and he needs it now. Pops the beat. Hey, people, look at the physical damage. Even with the Assault Cuirass, the armor is not enough. The core is going to get dropped. That should allow Neon to retreat away. But Poyoyo is hunting. Straight on top of Rappi he goes. Even Old 11 and PYW have some form of follow-up. There is no buyback available here for the Wraith King. And just in time for the Roche to spawn. Not that they have vision of it just yet. Void Spirit's going to have the uh, Sand delivered through to him. They're just continuing to make mistakes. They are mid lane. 
Can they burst down the Necrophos? Old 11's falling low, but all of a sudden, he's back up to full HP. And ready to rock and roll as Vici Gaming get one. They're trying to transition this to more kills as well. But the run that's there, Januel, it's a great freezing field. Combines up with the Poison Nova. They're falling really low from Vici Gaming. But the Sunray, it's been the story of this game. Europa's trying to find Ori. Can he get that extra little bit of damage here? He's hunting. Or with Where's the Scythe? Claims the kill. And now Ori actually might be able to turn. Silence. So you'll set this up in a couple seconds if he wants that set up for the Remnant. Doesn't want to give up any more of the map than they already have. Still all the tier 2 towers standing, which means that outpost control is uh, something to be concerned about. Rappi, you can see here, trying to take back a little bit of their jungle, but the, the map's like kind of blind for both teams. Very harsh. Headband gets the coil break. BYW is able to utilize the essence ring, but meanwhile, Ori dead. just melts through the puck. And now with the rest of Dyer, they're trying to move on over. It's going to be a one for one, but it's a big kill getting rid of the puck. It's been a thorn in their side, dealing with a lot of the side lanes. Aura and sustain effective items. Let's see if that's going to be enough to help them out here. Debil will have his extra core up in puck. And now with the Abyssal Blade picked up from Poyoyo. So another Aegis for a minute 10. If they really want, they can just drop the ultimate to deal with the Rax here. But no, they want to fight. Supernova drops straight on top of the gear. Is it going to be alive with the Reincarnation Spawn? It will. Now with the Supernova pop along with the Abyssal Blade. The Raid King is going to get heavily kited here through the BKB. No buyback. Raid King. He drops. They'll deal with the Tuscar as well. Tuscar to try and buy back. They'll deal with Ori. There's a root there. But where's the extra control? A quick Astral step away. Vici Gaming once again. Showing the masterclass team fight performance that they constantly have. Radiance middle. Joe Paz, or you might catch him out here. Wonderful about it. I mean, you've got that solo pickoff potential with the enchanted quiver. Yeah, Scam had to buy out. We had the perfect amount of gold just to pick up the Scardi and rejoin that fight, but. Just see how slow you are, you know, without that, that blink dagger to get in onto the back lines. You didn't have the backup from the rest of your team, and this is where the Venomancer pick kind of falls apart. You know, you don't scale that well. You misplaced team fights means that this is probably going to be Vici closing this one out. Go pod. Again. Great coil. They get the break as well. Is there a way they're able to turn this around here? Boy, it's a bit falling low, but a nice short step that gives them the space. And now with the movement in, Sans drop leave and just call it quits. Before the rest of the heroes die, they know they can offer up no defense after that. As Veach Gaming will clean this series up in 2-0 fashion.